How's it going everybody? Welcome to another round of Young Slovenian Game Reviews. Uh, today I'm going to be focusing on the Wii U. Actually, I'm going to be focusing on one thing in particular, uh, the external hard drive. Um, first of all, I'm going to recommend that everybody pick up a Toshiba Leading Innovations hard drive. It's a USB 3.0 and 2.0, 500 gigabytes. It costs about $69 at Best Buy. That's where I picked it up. Now, um, just to give you an example, they're going to be releasing a $79 uh, hard drive for the Wii U from Nintendo. It's about 320 20 gigabytes. And so, do the math, the price difference is huge. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about how to set up the hard drive because this is a keen part that kind of had me in a stump for a long time. Um, my Wii is in the current process of loading a new game. I just got done, um, I just got done installing all the software on it. So anyway, uh, Ninja Gaiden, right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down so you guys can actually hear me. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, let me go around to the Wii U console itself. It's right over here. And that's the hard drive. I have it connected to the top USB port. And what you need to do when you set it up, the first time you set it up is after you get done doing all the software updates, it takes roughly an hour to an hour and a half because it's a five gig update. It's pretty huge. Um, you're gonna have to turn the console off, plug the hard drive in, turn the console back on, and then it's gonna prompt you to automatically do a formatting. You're gonna, add, you're gonna say yes to the formatting, and then once the format starts, it usually takes about maybe a minute that's how long it took for me. Actually, less than a minute. It was pretty quick, and then you're good to go. You go tech. You go into your system settings. You check your storage devices, and you'll have the USB storage device, and there it'll show up as a 500 or 495 gigs free because some of it's uh, prioritized for something else. But there go. There you go. If you need more space on your basic 8 gig Wii U unit, buy a $69 uh, storage unit at our external hard drive at Best Buy. Again, I'm using the Toshiba. It does not. You do not need to plug it in. Uh, it. You do not need to plug it into the wall. It has its own USB adapter, which it gets power from the uh, Wii U directly. It uses very little power too, so it's actually a pretty good buy. Um, that's all I really have to say, so I'm gonna enjoy this system a little bit today to give you guys a better synopsis of the game I'm playing. So let me go ahead and back up here and you can see my whole setup there. It's a huge mess in this house. I've got all my pro controllers. I did everything white because I didn't want to waste money on stuff I didn't want. So that and the white one, check this out. Do, 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 touching it, touching it, touching it, touching it. See, you can't see the fingerprints. And how I know this is because a friend of mine bought the black one. I went to his house first and you can see all the fingerprints, man. So I'm telling you, if you, if you, if you don't like the fingerprints, get the white one. Also, uh, it's cheaper a little bit. I mean, if you prefer the extra storage space and the, get the free game, then go ahead and get the black one. But I'm telling you, you're going to regret it a little bit later. Anyway, uh, I'll get to you. I'll get back to you guys later. More on Ninja Gaiden 3 uh, Razor Edge and tell you how good it is or not so good. I'm hoping it's a good game. It got some decent reviews so far. Anyway, uh, peace out for now and uh, let me know what you guys think. Remember, external hard drive, $69, Best Buy. It works perfectly from Toshiba. Peace out.